All ears. Hello, Captain. That should be a little bit better. Yeah. Woo. Wait, is that Sam? No, just somebody else in the hat. Hey there, how's it going? Unless Sam did go outside. Okay. This looks like the place I was talking about before. There's a lot of wood here. It's a little bit more of a western feeling kind of town. Because once we get started, I'm gonna be riding your tail until this is over. Uh, Sam would be like to fill his follow if you continue. What about Cora? Isn't she coming? She stays with the ship, usually. Got a few more years to go before I let her swill whiskey in some backwater bar. <laughs> I think a lot of years for that, but alright, yeah, let's get going. There's uh, something you should know up front. I'm a co. As in Solomon Co, first man on Aquila. That tail I mentioned before? The one I think is connected to an artifact. It's something of a family legend. Huh. After planet fall, Solomon spent years mapping Aquila. And he found a tiny little patch of nothing on his sensors. The kind of nothing an artifact produces. I see. He called it the empty nest. Said it was a place even the wildlife of Aquila wouldn't go. Whoa, did he tell that to anybody else? Why not just use a plan scan to find it? Because you'll find a whole lot of nothing. Gravitational anomalies are a little hard to pick up in an area with tons of starship traffic. Uh. Not to mention all the electronics from the city and security scramblers that the Free Star or smugglers on the frontier put down. Okay, so Solomon Coe's your ancestor? Your family built Aquila City? Yeah. And the Coe's have been coasting on that for ten generations now. Solomon's always a larger-than-life figure if you read the histories, but if you just listen to a few recordings of the man, he was simple. Just wanted to keep moving forward. <laughs> Feel that. All right, well, let's find this artifact. Solomon's maps are locked up tight in the local gal bank. We'll be heading there. Got a freighter coming soon. No time to talk. Are you sure about that? All right. Oh, my day just got a whole lot Thanks, babe. I'll see you later. That's not a problem. And you're springing for the new reactor? It's still under manufacturer's warranty. Yes. Can I get an invoice? <laughs> what you need one of those for? Corporate policy. Is it okay if I just write it on a notepad? As long as it's written and signed, it could be on a loaf of bread. <laughs> <laughs> At least she's not being stingy about it. Welcome to Aquila City, S2167 by Solomon Co. Greetings, citizens. Howdy. Howdy. Hold it. Ah! By order of Marshal Daniel Blake, I need to inform you we've got some trouble at Gal Bank. Like what? Folks might be in danger, so you may want to steer clear. Never a dull moment around here. Well, I know you. You're Sam Coe. Marshal would be damn glad to have another Free Star Ranger helping out. Afraid your information is a couple years out of date. Uh, what's the trouble? Well, all I know is there was an attempted bank robbery and things went sideways. Oh, jeez. You'd have to ask the Marshal if you want the whole story. Okay. Um... Is Marshal Blake in charge of security? Not usually. But he took charge of the situation because the bank robbers are part of the Shaw Gang. The Marshal's had a lot of experience dealing with the gang. So, he's calling the shots. Gotcha. How do I get to the gal bank? It's just behind me on the right. The place is on lockdown, so you should steer clear unless you can help out. Well, I do want to help out. I guess that'd be the marshal's call. Frankly, it ain't going well. Looks to be a stalemate. Maybe a little outside help would do some good. Well, 
I doubt those robbers are gonna let us leisurely peruse the Galbank vault. We better see if we can help move this situation along. Yeah. Well, he said it was out here to the right. Kilo City. Feels like I spent half my life trying to get out of this place. You planning to tell me your demands at some point? You find someone we can trust, and maybe we will. Like who? Not you, and not one of your rangers, and not these city guards, neither. <sighs> what the hell am I supposed to do with that? <laughs> hey, I've got good news for you, Marshal. You stand back now. Sounds like he could use some help. I don't mean to be rude, but I don't know you. Now, please, stand back. Aquila City at its finest, I see. Never a dull moment. Well, I'll be damned. Sam Cole. Been a long time. I won't hold my breath about you being here to take the badge again. Uh, listen, Sam, just so you know, I don't blame you for how it went down. For the others, though, you might get a different reception. Thanks. I appreciate you saying so. But I figure some of that reception is owed. Still, I appreciate the sentiment, Marshal. It seems you got a situation. My friend here may be the answer you're looking for. All right, Sam. I'll trust your judgment on this one. Some folks from the Shaw Gang tried to rob the place, but they got spotted by a guard. They took everyone inside hostage, and now they're keeping a watch so we can't move against them. They're using the intercom to communicate. The Shaw Gang? It's a big group that hides outside the city and runs smuggling jobs off-world. Mm. They take in all kinds, rookies and veterans alike. Judging by their lack of preparation, I'd say this particular group is green as hell. Probably their first attempt at heist. That should work in our favor. Right about now, they're probably wishing they've just stayed home. <laughs> All right, well... They must have made some demands by now. They won't talk to me. Say they don't trust the badge. <laughs> they want a neutral negotiator. In other words, they didn't have a plan for this, so they're stalling while they come up with one. What's your plan? Without demands, I ain't got much to work with. About all we can do is wait and see. Well, listen, I'm, I'm down to try and talk some sense into them. Hmm. All right, I'm willing to allow that. But a few things first. Say what you have to, but whatever they ask for, there's no way in hell I'm giving it to them. Also, there are lives at stake, so don't get cavalier. Find out what they want, and then report back to me. Take it slow and steady. Look for every opportunity to de-escalate. You got this. Thanks, Sam. Hey, you in the bank. I'm sending in a negotiator, so don't shoot. Hands where I can see him. And don't try nothing. All right, let's see how we can manage this. Excuse me. We've got a little excitement on our hands. You got no idea. I saw your ship come in. Nice ride. Thanks. Okay. Gonna need a hip a lot of this. Just in case. You're the negotiator, huh? Yep. If you think you're just gonna walk up here and get us to surrender, you're dead wrong. You'll see about that. Uh, this only works if you're willing to cooperate. Wait, let's see. First, I'd like to know who I'm talking to. What's your name? It's Jed. Jed Bullock. Nice to meet you, Jed. I'm Jade. Well, ain't you polite. So tell me, stranger, how do I know you're gonna deal straight with us? Hmm. Guess you're not the only one who's had trouble with the law. <laughs> I give you my word, Jed, I just want to help. Well, we've got our full persuasion thing, so if this actually can tell him, like, instantly... I heard that. Okay, so let's talk. Hmm. What's the condition of the hostages? They talk too damn much. Complain about everything. But as much as we'd like to, none of us has shot one yet. Alright, alright. Well, that's good. Good to know they're alive. What are your demands? We want to guarantee a safe passage to the spaceport and a ship. We'll drop the hostages off somewhere safe in the system. 
After that, we'll radio back where they are, and the Marshal and his crew can come and get them. But if anybody follows us when we break orbit, we start shooting people. Got it? Hmm. How do I know you'll keep your word? Do you think we want to stay locked up in here? Hell no. Well, it could take a while to get you a ship. Oh, hell. The Free Star Rangers have got ships. They could give us one of them. This whole damn job's gone wrong. It was supposed to be just a quick hit. Clean and simple, you know? So let's just... Let's all try to keep our heads, yeah? Because my guys, they're going crazy in here. I don't know how much longer we can last. Hmm. It's not too late to end this peacefully. What do you mean? Well, let's see. Give up now and you'll do some time, sure, but nowhere near as much as you would if a hostage dies. Damn it. I didn't think of it that way. Nobody's been hurt yet. Surrender now and the judge might go easy on you. Well, no. You might as well let your prisoners go. You think they're keeping you safe, but they're not. I know. I know. I'm not disagreeing with that. Oh, dude, this is rough. No. There's no good outcome for you here. If you give up now, at least you'll still have your lives. Yeah. I don't think any of us is ready to die here. Nobody's been hurt. So maybe the judge won't come down too hard on us. Yeah. I think this has gone on long enough. You go tell the marshal we'll come quietly. You'd make a decent ranger with the way you handled that. I was really <laughs> lucky there. I don't know what red means in regards to what our chances are, but I can't imagine it was that good. So <laughs> uh, sketchy, sketchy, sketchy stuff. Um, just making sure my XP is going. Hey, sir. Security, what's the word? Joke. Uh, it's over. They agreed to come quietly. Well, I'll be a son of an Ashta. <laughs> How'd you pull that off? Well... I won them over with my irresistible charm. No, I convinced him it was the right thing to do. Considering those are Shaw's people, that's damn near a miracle. Here, you've more than earned this. You got us out of a tough spot, and you did it with courage that's not common. As a matter of fact, you might just be Freestar Ranger material. Yeah. If you're interested, head on over to the Rock and ask for Emma Wilcox. She handles the new recruits. We'll see about that, sir. All right. Now that lives aren't on the line, let's get back in Galbank, see if we can get those maps. Yeah. That pink robbery was something else. Just thinking about it gets my heart racing. Yeah, let's get in the bank. Deputized Free Star Collective. Now we're good on that. I, I have learned that, like, in regards to the faction missions, supposedly you can pretty willy nilly go and do all or like most of the factions without worrying about like losing the option to do the other ones. So we might just do all of them regardless. Um,. But uh, yeah, I'd either I'd either start with the the UC, or I I do want to see what's going on with Ryujin. They sound like they probably do like sketchy, shady stuff because they're based on neon and they sound like you know a kind of like a crime family. But it sounds kind of cool. I just I want to check them out. Okay, we'll take it from here. Hey there! I've had quite enough excitement for now. I bet. Nice job. Are we, uh... Are they just gonna let us go down there? Oh. Yes. Hey! What? 
Yeah. So damn tired. Hey, Jed. Just want to get out of here. Mm-hmm. Hate this place. Glad it. <laughs> glad it worked out, Jed. I'm sure you'll be out right. soon enough. Family has a few different deposit boxes secured in here, so let's look around. Here's a copy of the key. Okay. Okay, now remember, Solomon was from an earlier generation, so it's not going to be on a slate. Big bundles of paper is what we're after. Okay. That's not useful to us. Oh. Note for Sam. I think this is for you, buddy. Oh, no. Jacob. Of course that old mule saw this coming. Who's Jacob? Why do you take the maps? He's just a bitter old man. Interfering in what's none of his business. Okay. I'm walking into drama. This is the part where I walk into drama. <laughs> You're gonna be like this the whole way? Oh, come on. Damn it. I was hoping to avoid the estate. Cora's gonna be so mad. Ooh, a persuasion thing. Sam, level with me. Tell me who Jacob is. We really gotta do this. Like, we're going to the state anyways. Oh, wait, wait. Look, it's clearly a family member. Why don't you just tell me? And why do you have to be so pushy, huh? Because that's what I'm gonna do. I'll bet Cora would tell me. Why don't I go over and ask? That's a low blow there. No need to involve the little one. <laughs> All right, fine. He's my dad, okay? Ah. We're not exactly on friendly terms. He probably figured I'd come for the maps at some point. Got ahead of me. Family business just wasn't something I wanted to get into, you know? Hmm. What about Cora? Seen your dad get along? <laughs> God, that's the worst part. They're thick as thieves. Oof. Last thing I need is Jacob in her life. Let's leave it at that. Well, thanks for opening up to me, Sam. Yeah, well, sorry I'm such a pain about it. No forgiveness between me and my old man. It's a uh, cold tradition. I bet. All right, shall we? All right, we gotta go find this Jacob fella. Sam's dead. The estate just like in the middle of town? That's a little bit beyond that. Uh, is Solomon Coe really all that? Some make it seem like he built the whole damn Free Star Collector by himself. Uh, I'm sure some of the tales grew in the telling, but no one denies he found Cheyenne. And set up his camp not far from here. Aquila City was his baby. I don't buy it though. The United Colonies wouldn't let some ragtag settlers stake a system like this without a fight. It was a different time. Everything was new. Everyone fleeing Earth as quick as you can. If he tried it today, I'm sure the UC would have shut him down. And there is no way he wore that getup. Everyone's got this love affair with Solomon Cole. Nobody's being objective about him. There wouldn't be a Free Star Collective without Solomon, and that's the truth. You want to live in the for the rest of your life. I'm just saying, my family just keep your gun holster. I'm making my way to the estate before my my XP bonus goes away. <laughs> Hi there, Jacob. finally decides to darken our doorstep again. You know why I'm here. Oh? And what's that? You come to your senses? Realize where you ought to be for once? I ain't asking again. You ain't asked once. Let's hear it. I want you to say the words about what's more important to you than family. Okay, this was a mistake. The only mistake I'm seeing here is you. 
bringing your constellation lackey here instead of my granddaughter. Hey! Come to help Sam loot his ancestry? You're not getting those maps. Full stop. You don't know that. Uh. <laughs> Whoa, don't drag me into this. <laughs> Why do you hate each other so much anyway? There's only one place a co ought to be. And it ain't out there in the star field doing Lord knows what. Putting our future at risk. Right. Well, look, this isn't about you or your ancestry. It's bigger than that. Nothing's more important than family. Nothing. If Sam had stuck around, he'd know that. You wouldn't be here. All right, that's enough. Come on, let's you and I talk. In private. <laughs> Welcome home, Sam. Make your visit short, okay? It's what you do. Ugh. You need something? Yeah, your dad does sound pretty awful. Give me a sec. <sighs> All right, let's talk options. Hmm. You need a minute? Want to talk about what just happened? No, I don't. It's just. It's been a while, but this is how it goes every time. Well, I could try speaking to him. He might see reason. You're flying in the face of my 30 plus years experience with the man, but all right. I hope you like arguing. Hey, that's what I got persuasion stuff for. All right. Hippolyta. Sam's constellation lackey here to bother me again. You know it. All right, be reasonable. We need those maps, Jacob. Well, that's not your decision, is it? It's called property by birthright. It stays here. Look, uh, Sam's your son. You don't want to help him? You think I'm not trying to help him? <laughs> Constellation just wants to follow up on Solomon's work. You really believe that, don't you? Can't believe I'm saying this. But if I'll get you out of my hair, then fine. You can have the maps. Yeah! Get in the other room, here. Key. Woo! My own father's trying to keep those maps from me. <sighs> well, that's it then. Jacob's office keys. Solomon's map. So, oh, well, that really is a paper map of Aquila. All right, let's see if we can find the empty nest. All right, let me think. The way I heard it, the readings he was getting were normal at first, then they bottomed out. And no creature, alien or otherwise, would dare step inside. There. Found it. Oh, boy. <sighs> That's a problem. Let me guess. Shaw's gang set up there or something. <laughs> Don't say things like that. My anxiety is bad enough as is. <laughs> no, no, no. Whatever it is, we can handle it. Well, you ain't wrong. But let's take a look at what we're up against. First, it's in the middle of the frontier, which we already expected. No problems there, but the usual tussling with alien wildlife. But the empty nest is a cave right in the middle of Shaw gang territory. Same outlaws who held up Galbank. Well, it's a good thing we didn't get them killed then. <laughs> How are they surviving outside the walls? Criminal groups in Aquila always find a way. But they usually have to keep on the move to avoid the Ashton. Well, it could just be a coincidence as the cave we want happens to be where the Shaw gang runs around. But something doesn't feel right. I mean, if the animals try to avoid the cave, then it would make sense that the cave is a good place to, like, set up around. Ah. <sighs> Bringing out Lost of Justice sounds like fine work. Well, just remember, it's about the artifact, not them. Hurting bad guys puts a smile on your face, that's a bonus. Let's get to that cave. Where even is it? Are we gonna have to fly out of here? Nope, it's a on-foot adventure. All right. Let's see if you can get me vid reception. I'm missing my stories. 
We're in the middle of town. You're not missing any stories. How far do we got to go for this? 600 meters? That's not too bad. Might get a chance to test out my... my new Grendel. On whatever wildlife's out here. I don't need all the fiber from <laughs> from all these plants. We'll just scan them and keep it going. Oh shit! Wait, that's an Ashta? It looks kind of small. Eh, maybe not too small. Five XP for that one little Ashta? Nice. What the fuck is a mosk Mosnith? Moskinith. Did the Ashta take this out? Glad to see you don't mind getting your hands dirty. Jesus. That was a massive creature for a single Ashta to have tried to take out. That's not at the cave, so should be fine. Looks pretty far out there, too. Might be over by the structure. It's usually how it seems to work. Someone lands near a structure to defend it. that shit here we go ow oh my fuck ah! it like took off half my health in a single swing Oh shit. Is this even the right Grendel? Oh, okay, it has lacerate. Okay. Oh, I'm fucking dead. Ah! 
Alright, I'm gonna slowly reload all my guns. Oh shit! Hey y'all! Huh? Ah! I'm here to talk, maybe! Jesus! That level 3 turret seems like it might be fucking me up. We gotta take care of that. Oh, they've got a big-ass robot right behind them. Y'all are lucky I don't got a new sniper rifle yet! With bigger DPS per bullets. Alright, we gotta get closer. All my actually higher DPS weapons are a little bit more close range. I'm sorry! I'll aim! Oh god. They've got like a basic lawgiver. Tombstones could be good. Just keep it going, just keep it going, just keep it going. What the fuck? Oh. Uh, hello, Elk Krangnan? Krang- Krangon? I need XP. Everything I can get. Mm, toast and grapes. Looks like a smuggler den. Warren nest, or whatever you call it. Smugglers are near. Oh, we know. We just killed a bunch of them. Tag, you're it. 
Congratulations, you have noticed our fridge is empty. You must be very thirsty in this dry Kila heat. I know I am, and I'm sure your friends are too. The task set before you now is to go into town and get some more beer. I know you can do it. I believe in you. Now go. Um, from Ulrich Kleinstad. Bitten sandwich. Broken everything. From Ong Noknai. This unit has served us very well, yet the time has come for us to admit that without a few new parts, our repairs are not going to last. If we want this to work more than a few days at a time, I'm going to need a new deformable nozzle, at least a functional reactive gauge, and some isotopic coolant to refresh the system. It's not much to ask for all of us, and for this little unit, Please find these parts. Sadly for them, they're never going to see what this place is like fully repaired. Ooh, control rod. Good resources abound. Simpler times, the foreword to a non-fictional account of life in New Homestead, collected from residents over the, the years, originally published in 2324. If anyone tells you, like the title of this time, that life back in the early colonies can be described as simpler times, they're full of it. The title, thusly, is a repu uh, repudiation of the idea. You'll see the claims in various forms of media, brochures, and other corporatized devices that life was somehow simpler than we have it today. The portrayals in such series as the old family friendly show, Hab on the Ice, for instance, paint an idealized perspective of New Homestead that couldn't be further from the truth. Life was never simple here. The people you're about to hear from, some dating back to the mid-2100s, provide a unique insider view into what it was really like in Titan. You'll read about their struggles in the New Frontier era, as well as more current accounts on what it's like to preserve that veneer while dealing with a galaxy that's moved on. Forward by Amelia Zegad. Yeah, I bet this times were really simple. Better we get it than someone else. We're out here in space, nothing is simple. Not even bullets killing people. Did you pick? Nice. Ah, damn, they had a lot of mines. Shaw Gang, welcome. Welcome to our little camp. It doesn't look like much, but I know you will find a place for yourself here. It certainly beats living under the thumb of the Free Star Guards. Plus, the Ashta don't come around here, so outside of Aquila, this might be the safest place on the planet. Join me for a drink when I get back. Scandia Williams. <laughs> I'd love to join you for a drink, Scandia. We can have a talk about how you're gonna need to find some new recruits. Hmm. My well rested bonus is gone. Time for a little naparino. Did I hear uh, snoring? Hey, my wife said I don't. I don't snore. Oh god. But I guess if you say I snore, she was just being nice. Hookah container. I didn't even read that. I, I like picked it up so quickly. All right, Sam. Like this, be perfect nest for the Ashton. Something's keeping them away. Yeah, the artifact Share probably the wealth, right? gives off weird vibes. All right. Uh, sort by value or DPS. 
Dude, holy shit. I mean, it would make sense that a pistol that we get now would be better than a pistol we got like 10, 20 hours ago, but... 343? That's tempting. Hmm. The real problem I have with these guns, these new guns, is we lose out on a lot of the... Like, we just haven't really been getting a lot of, like, purple or, like, orange gear. And, like, you know, obviously the higher rarity actually gives little bonuses that can be, like, particularly effective. Obviously, it doesn't, you know, if something does triple the fucking DPS, it doesn't matter what kind of bonuses <laughs> you, you do or do not get. But, yeah, that's, that's my hesitation. I just want some new stuff. Or anything that's, like... Hyper low DPS is definitely getting put away. Oh yeah, I forgot about Speechless Fire. I need to equip that. Casual streetwear. That does actually look kind of nice, visually. You want me to carry something? No, I just want to get Sir Livingston's pistol back. The fucking massive pain in the ass Goodbye. it's being. That's so interesting that it's still... It's way higher value, but I guess it's just because of all the like the attachments it has on it. I want a I want a rare version of it. All right, let's go get an artifact if it's even in there. Smugglers have been known to defend their turf hard, so let's not get too careless. I'm gonna do my best, Sam, but I, I can't guarantee anything. Oh my god. I think I have explosive bullets, I didn't even realize it. Shaw Gang Cave Key. Hey! All right, fine. I was gonna shoot you in the head. But that was apparently... Do you never go for me? Um... Oh, this is three. Okay, I, I, I looked here. I didn't see this one here, so we need... This. Huh? Did we get it? There we go. This was the tricky one. All right. Ah, oh, god damn it! And I can't even use it. It's all contraband, illegal shit. Son of a bitch. Fuck it. We're on a, you know, free star planet. Surely somebody buys contraband. You can't catch them all. Ashta Tamer. The fuck? Oh, it's a it's a grenade launcher. It's a named grenade launcher. 
intriguing. What's over here? Oh, a bunch of resources and a mine? No. Don't do that. Mm, yeah, fuck it. It's been a while since we've been doing outpost. Oh, shit. I think I gave uh, my cutter to Sam. Shaw gang's full. I wouldn't say no to. Give me my cutter back. And you want an upgrade? Let's see. You're using a lawgiver. You could use this tombstone. Next time. Sure, just to keep grabbing everything. What could go right, Sam? That's what you should be asking. You gotta be more of an optimist, buddy. Let me just put this on one. Oh! Under fire! Whoops. <laughs> My bad. I didn't know you were alive, buddy. Still haven't gotten a new cutter in so long. You like caves? I like caves. Honestly, I might love caves. Is that weird? Yes. Well, no, but in the way that you just said it, yes. Okay, I'll go this way then. <laughs> oh, okay, hold up. I see very valuable resource, it must be grabbed. This has been really suspicious. Where are the rest of the Shaw gang members? Whoa! There's artifact! There is an artifact. Or at least, like, the shit that would be around it. The Calamite? You've done this before, right? Yeah. I can peer into the stars. Artifact Chi. Connect the artifacts, connect the systems. Ah! Right. Okay. Yeah, you're fine. Let's get going. Uh, uh, hold on. You 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 hold your horses with your disappearing facial hair, Samco. There's calamite here. I'm getting all that. That shit. 
I've seen it being used in a lot of endgame recipes. Slash upgrading weapons. We need it all. I really want a legendary cutter. Just for like the sake of having it. Is that all the calamite? Pretty much. All right. We just had to drop a few pounds. And I don't mean a diet. No, you mean you'd be right either way. <laughs> and don't you mean kilograms? Samco. We're rare is civilized civilization out here. Thank you very much. As long as there aren't any beasties, the cave can be an explorer's best friend. Hey, depending on the beasties, they can be our best friends too. Put anything on here. No. 